Moretta is a secretly disgusting character. In fact, he's the best combo looper in this game yet. But some people do not know how to use Moretta yet. They want to use him so bad. So don't worry, I got you. This video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Moretta with move set, combo, tips and tricks, and how to take advantage of your opponent with Moretta. Basically, making your Moretta top tier. By the way, if you like Demon Slayer Hino Kami Chronicles, then this channel is certainly for you. So consider subscribing as we're very close to 1k, bro. Enjoy. Alright, so let's go for his full moveset. So now let's go with his neutral attack combo. Very nice, very good. See, it's like a stabbing type of knife combo, and I'm joking. But yeah, let's go through his down combo. It's a hard knockdown combo, so keep in mind it can't a hard knockdown type of uh, tilt combo, like a down tilt combo does not a stem combo. So let's just go through it. Down tilt combos are also good for guard pressure. Hard knockdown combo as you can see and let's go through the up tilt combo just keep in mind that the up tilt combo extend combos and you can you know what i'm saying put more damage if you're starting it if you want to extend your combos with attacks you have to use the up, up tilt attack or the neutral attack because that's the only attacks that extend your combos so with that being said let's just go through the up tilt combo it's not bad it's not bad let's just go for his grab his grab is not even that bad. Let's go for his uh, jump tilt. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. It's very fast as well. It's like a stabbing frost move. Let's just go for his uh, tilt attack. It has a lot of range. Very good. Very good. Very good. And just know that you guys, you can, you can uh, fake your guard attack and cancel your um, your tilt attacks. So it's very nice tech. Very beautiful. Let's just go for his awakened neutral combo. In which it increases your damage, just keep that in mind. It's very mid. I don't I'm not a fan of this because compared to the Arab characters, this is literally mid, but it's all good. This Murata in it, he's still broken. Yeah, without further ado, let's just go through his skills, shall we? Uh so let's talk about his first skill, which is a, a frost move. If you can see guys, it's a frost move. And it has trash ring, so just keep that in mind. It has very good ring, you have to be close to your opponent to do this move. And this cross move is a combo standard, so you can, you know what I'm saying, combine it with attacks or you can combine it with supers, as you can see. So uh, yeah, it's a combo standard move, it's not a hard knockdown move, it's a combo standard move. So yeah, if you guys want to do max damage combos, this move is crucial for you to do your max damage combos. Now, let's move on to the second skill. The second skill is this move. It has decent range, but it's not as good. You know what I'm saying? It is like a decent range type of move, but it's a very this move is very good because first of all, this move is a skill cancel. Like you can basically cancel it. You have to keep pressing square to do the full animation move. But if you want to cancel it a little bit, then you have to just press square and tilt, and then it'll just make like a half type of um, water wall move if you know what i'm saying guys so this move can combo extend in so many ways for example if you want to do the half skilled move yeah which we would just by pressing square you can literally combine it with attacks neutral attacks and if you want to do like the full animation water wall you have to you have to just keep pressing it and you can dash and do your jump attacks basically it's so or you can do the super anything like this is such a combo extension move so you guys keep in mind i'll show you guys in later in the video on what combos you can do with this move and that and let's go to my third move is murata's chair you obviously you see the skill gauge as you can see the cis gorge is getting recovered it's basically a special kill because it doesn't have no relevance to combos or damage or whatsoever it's just like a, a very unique skill move in which it recovers your cis gauge it's very good so yeah you guys keep that in mind if you want to uh, recover your sys gauge even more quicker so that you can get more supports or you can switch faster or you can escape from combos faster then use Morata's third skill which is which is R1 and triangle is the chair uh, so the game plan with Morata should be being extremely aggressive and putting high pressure on your opponent with assist or just putting pressure alone because you know what I'm saying Morata's skills are really close range and plus he has like a special move in which he recovers his assist gauge so he can escape from combos even when he's applying pressure and he gets caught punished anyways so just close down your opponent give him as much pressure as possible with your assist or whatever yeah you know what i'm saying his move set is very good for you know what i'm saying 
catching an opponent of God basically like with the water wall. Water wall is such a good move to catch your opponent of God and mix up your opponent. That should be the game plan. All of that. Use your support to your advantage. Let me just charge my chakra. <laughs> my said chakra. Close down your opponent as you can do as much mix ups you can do. All of that. Boom, could break his guard, obviously recover all his uh, assist cords very quickly. So with, with the assist cords, you can apply pressure into your opponent to either grab or do attacks whatsoever. But make sure you keep in mind that you should always apply pressure to your opponent. That should be the game plan with Murata. Apply pressure to your opponent. Make sure you're baiting your opponent, confusing your opponent. Like applying as much pressure as you can because you know what I'm saying he has Shinobi assist, which is very good for pressure. You can break his guard. You can use the skills. See, you can use the skills to obviously catch your opponent off guard. All of that. Use the skills. Use the water. Use the water wheel. Obviously, I need to charge up my chakra because I've literally no chakra. Oh my days! Charge the chakra. Use the skills because it's very fast. The opponent will definitely get caught off guard. See that? It's very fast. You know what I'm saying? And then do the and then when you escape out of a combo, make sure you do your chair move as soon as you get out of a combo. And then and then get apply pressure to your opponent as much as possible. All of that. Mix up your opponent, confuse your opponents, use this um the special gauge use to your advantage. That should be the blame game plan with Morata. So, so the best assist for Murata is Shinobu because Shinobi has a thrusting technique in which he can 100% start combos with and apply a guard pressure with. But Shinobu's just she's just that baddie. You get me? She she's one of the best assists in the game and the best assist for Murata specifically. You get me? You can easily start off your guard pressure or your combos with Shinobu assist. Plus, all you need is like a a chair and Shinobu is coming every single time you can literally spam shinobu assist not spam obviously because I'm, I'm obviously i'm not that pay like that and you guys are not paying like that so obviously you can get shinobu even bro and her tracking is so good as well and you can literally do a guard attack see that and easy damage for that you know what i'm saying so yeah the best assist is shinobu you can easily cheer all the time just just to even spam more shinobu and shinobu will literally come very quickly so yeah definitely it's using your assists with murata in a rank match is very crucial you know what i'm saying because it will help you with the guard pressure and it'll help you with your opponent trying to get momentum on you and the assist can close him down from trying to gain momentum so yeah keep that in mind and yeah that's pretty much it folks let me know if i miss anything or how i can improve these type of in-depth guides for the future and if you like the video obviously drop a like in it subscribe to the channel for new as we're very close to 1k and i made a video on give you unblockable reset combos so yeah you might check that out if you're interested in that and yeah take care i'll see you guys very soon make sure you guys stay blessed